a how are y'all oh no it's just this yep yes ma'am nice to meet you hey nice to meet you yeah yeah that's fine Hey, how's it going? Good, how you doing? Good. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. Yep, pleasure. All right, you're going up to the log table. Okay. Thank you. All right. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. Awesome. Oh, it's so gorgeous out here. Yeah. It's so crazy. Isn't that great? Yeah. This is kind of home based. Okay. Um, so here's an great. agenda for you. Thanks. Okay, so this is a lariat. <coughs> it's not really nice. So wait, you would just get to grab one and take it out? Yeah. But Keys we, are... gotta, we just gotta let them know. Okay. Then they're gonna they're gonna assign it. To okay. Just make sure someone else doesn't have it. Like mine is, I have a part back over there. I gotcha. Okay. Sweet. Yeah. So I'm down for whatever. Uh, I would like to dry the lariat. Okay. So it's open. All right. The, and this one's an FX4 too. So I wanted to see, make sure everything is recording, right? Ugh. It all kind of feels the same, dude. I'm sure. I am curious, just because. I mean, I'm still kind of considering one, but you know, I'm excited to drive at least starting with the Lariat first, and then move into the the Raptor tomorrow. Be nice. <laughs> yeah, nobody covers them, so just to let you know, I can tell you from a lot of experience of 20 years of doing this. <laughs> so, you're good to go. Awesome. All right, let's try this thing. Take the informational stuff, put it in the back. Let's go for a ride. Start button. Where is it? Okay. There it is. <sighs> All right. Is this the 2.7? Two 2.3. Two okay, so the same 2.3. Same two engine three. that we have. Okay, but with the 10R60. 10R60. All right. Oh, okay. All right. I had there to you figure that out. You have to put on the clutch. <laughs> <laughs> put on the clutch. All right. Cool. cool. So how long is this loop? Takes you about an hour. It's 34 miles. Really? Oh, okay. Come up. Where's so the... you got to press right here. All right. And then you can follow that. You're gonna make a left. Okay. Out that way. All right. So for those of you guys that don't know, George Acosta is riding shotgun with me today. We're taking the Ranger out. Uh, if you guys remember my set of videos, left, right? Left. Left. Okay. Oh boy, it's so it's sketch. Like a blind boy. Yeah. yeah. So if you guys remember my first Ranger reveal set of videos, uh, we got to check everything out. George was with me, and now we actually get to drive them. So it's really cool that we we don't have to just hop right away into a uh, a Raptor, right? Because mm -hmm. I, I kind of want to see what like the highest non Raptor, non Tremor version feels like. Because uh, I think <laughs> one of the things that when I first got my Ranger, uh, it kind of felt not so great bone stock like suspension wise it was a lot of rake um shocks weren't that great <clears throat> that. seems like they, they have some all terrains on this right mm -hmm. yours is an fx4 that you drove too right yeah my current truck is fx4 okay it doesn't this is your look... drive mode selector right here okay Let what are see. the drive modes oh. normal what is that one can't see that's sport I didn't know I had a sport mode. Okay. So it already has more than the Broncos because I think sport mode only comes in what, the wild track or something? Something like that. But I, I do remember, because I know Kayla's Bronco doesn't have sport mode. Mm. 
It feels good in here. Like. Oh, it feels really nice. Yeah. I will say it does feel a little bit less of a truck inside, if that makes sense. Like when we're yeah. riding in ours, yeah. like it just feels more trucky. I, I don't know if more more rough. Yeah, the but I'm, it's still comfortable inside ours. Yeah, this one has, I don't know, it feels more Maverick feeling yeah. inside, which isn't a bad thing. I mean, I'm comfortable in here. Like my eye line on the windshield isn't like towering up above. Uh, like every Tacoma I've driven, I feel like I'm sitting high. It's got a boost gauge. What? what yeah. That? Oh, shit. Yeah, it's got a boost gauge. That's cool. I mean, it, it feels really compliant. Like, it's not... Like, uh, then again, this... I mean, I'm used to my truck with no We're sway bars and no 37s. Sway bars. Yeah. Like, yeah, I thought the <laughs> so same like, thing. The first corner I took was like, damn, this thing doesn't sway. It handles, like, oh, yeah, man. it handles pretty well. <laughs> Well, if you don't fuck it up like we do our trucks, I'm sure it does handle well. I still die laughing to people on the forums, and they're like, "Will this, will this happen if I take the sway bar off?" I'm like, "Dude, I've been sway barless for yeah. like fifty thousand miles, which railering in mountains." I mean, every new thing that we try, it's like we get nervous about it. Like I was nervous about the thirty sevens. How much boost does this thing make? Looks like about twelve. <laughs> It's like 12. 12. Yeah. That's pretty... If that gauge is right, because that's 0 to 20, and it peaked at like 12, which is, I feel like is pretty low, I would think it would be hitting like 18, 17. 5 for a tank? Well, it would probably be close to 300. I mean, that's, that's still... Yeah, that's, that's worse than ours. I mean, maybe it's going by... Uh, Maybe it's going by how the past people have driven it. Because oh, I use, yeah, I usually get about 250, 260 a tank. Well, I don't go all the way to E, but... So far, driving impressions of this Lariat FX4. It's a huge improvement over our generation, Gen 5 FX4 Rangers. Um, I don't know exactly what it is, because it's still a Dana 44 rear solid axle, right, in the back? Yeah. But whatever they changed in the front suspension geometry, I mean, it feels really good. Like, it's it's planned. It doesn't have any harsh ride. I mean, it doesn't feel floaty. Um, the shocks, they feel great. Uh, I did drive a couple Broncos, and I got to say, it does feel, like, very Bronco-ish. Um, just driving on road, at least. There's not that much of a, a, a big disparity between the old Gen 5 Rangers and, and the stock for stock versus the Bronco that came out. So overall, I mean, the, the one thing I do have a, a still a complaint about is the brakes. Those of you guys that have Gen 5 Rangers know, um, the so like it's not as soft as that soft pedal feel that we got in the Gen 5 Ranger, but it's still, it doesn't have a bite. There's no bite. It's almost like a, a real spongy feeling, almost like it needs to be bled a few times. I mean, I'm assuming maybe if you do the uh, if you do the uh, ABS module activation thing like you did for the Gen 5s, it'll probably imp improve. But it has me okay. It has me going eat west. Yeah. Okay. Um, overall, that is the one disappointing thing so far. Just driving the Lariat uh, FX4 is that I, I wish the brake had more bite. Like our X4 ST. Is a 2022 has a lot of bite. Um, it does have the performance package brakes on it, um, but it's still it's not like a Brembo system. It's still like a, I think a two or it's a two piston caliper, but it's a huge a lot of rotor mass um, on the stock brakes on the X4 ST. Um, I didn't look at the ones on this Lariat, but I'm assuming it's probably gonna be pretty close to to what the Broncos run. So I don't know if the Broncos feel this way. I don't remember. I don't think I paid attention the last time I rode in a Bronco to see if the brakes felt like this. Um, but yeah, I, if that's my one critique, that's my one critique. Overall, though, I mean, the fitment, everything in here feels really good. Of course, is the Lariat, so you got the the leather wrap. This is probably faux leather, but it's got soft touch. Um, still standard, more plastic in the back, um, but soft touch, you know, pretty much where all the contact points are um, on the vehicle, which is really nice. Ergonomics. Um, and I don't know if I captured this on the video before, but like, I like where the cup holders are 
on this one compared to our Ranger just because our Gen 5 Ranger you have to kind of reach back a little bit behind the steering or the the drive selector you have like two drinks in there exactly if you have two drinks in it they're like big gulps I mean you're kind of having to like reach and do crazy shit to get to your stuff um, the cubby is more useful than ours uh, it's not as deep like yet you, you don't have to like reach in but like I don't even know what's in mine anymore um, but this one seems a little bit more useful I'm assuming there's a charging pad there I don't know if I would use that very much but um, it's nice uh, the the air vents I mean it's all modern Ford uh, like I've mentioned in previous videos like our Gen 5 Ranger is like been out since 2012 or something it's been a world truck so it, it, it definitely needed a refresh and an update and this definitely feels like a nice update looks like there's a little cubby there to put your stuff yeah you put stuff there how big is that that's not a very big uh, okay well that's not the main glove box so you do still get a main glove box which is nice that's Pro Max. yeah All right, so overall, first day, this has been really, really cool. The fact that I don't have anybody with me, um, you know, honestly, I was telling George that I felt like this was going to be like a dealership thing where somebody rides with you and, you know, it's just going to be real controlled. And I mean, overall, though, I mean, we pretty much have free reign with these trucks to drive and experience and do whatever we kind of want with them. We are in, I can't remember the name of this national forest, but uh, it is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous out here um it has been a minute since i've seen like snow like this so it's it's a real treat for sure uh to be driving here right now a huge shout out to uh to ford um for for bringing me out um and being able to experience this overall though guys like i, I gotta say the the inside of this thing is really nice just being able to to kind of roll around and drive it and like drive it kind of like how I would and you know be in my own comfort zone inside the vehicle without anybody like watching me it really allows me to kind of enjoy the truck as if it was my own and I gotta say it's it's really really nice in here I gotta say we're we're in Salt Lake City I'm following George now and kind of just driving around the city and I, I gotta say like it's very similar to Atlanta as far as like road conditions you know it's bumpy it handles really well like I, I don't hear any weird rattles um, road noise is pretty quiet in this cabin like it's it's not bad at all um, I, I like it a lot like it's it's very for a ranger it's really refined there's nothing that glares out to me that says this is not that great of a truck to move away from if you have a gen, gen 5 I, I think just from driving the Lariat FX4, I would probably make the switch if I wasn't so deep into my Gen 5. And I say that for a couple of reasons. It's it's a modern truck. Uh, this one still has the same 2.3. It has the 10R60 though. But I gotta say, like I, I would probably switch. Um, it is. I'm, I'm back. I realized before I started recording the Raptor content the next day. I didn't record an outro. So what I was going to say was if I wasn't so deep into my Ranger, I probably would consider like parting out my Ranger and moving to a new Gen 6 like Lariat or whatever. I think if you have a Gen 5 Ranger and uh, you're not really deep into it, um, you know, if you've got simple bolt-ons or... You know, you, you don't have a lot of things, right? It, it's pretty easy to to move over to a new platform, part it out, and sell it. I would totally do that. Um, my Ranger, though, I've got a lot into it. And uh, I love the truck. It's been a really reliable, great truck. The 2.3 liter has been great. Um, who knows, right? Uh, as of right now, I wouldn't sell my truck for a Lariat. Now... I want you guys to stay tuned for the Raptor content uh, that I will be posting next in my next video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, I check out my other videos where we kind of do the walk arounds of the Ranger. I didn't really talk about like you know the the seats and the back seats and all that stuff. If you want to see that type of content, go to my past videos when I flew up to Detroit to do the walk around on the other Rangers. But outside of that, this was really some quick driving impressions. 
It wasn't anything crazy. It was just a Lariat Ranger. Fantastic truck. Drove great. The 2.3, to me, felt a little bit slower than my, my one that's tuned uh, by Roush. Overall, though, highly would recommend it if you have a Gen 5 Ranger that isn't super modded. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll catch you in the Raptor video that I will be posting very soon this week. Take it easy. Bye.